Miss Mirage and Miss Nisha Nicole, guys, you know, from Claxton Bay, Trinidad and Tobago. Shao Bank, I mean, guys, is becoming quite popular in our country because people are seeing the the potential that um, they could get involved with the opportunity and have a passive income working for them. Because not just me alone, but a lot of people in Trinidad know the cost of living is very high. And in this day and age, some people it's difficult to really get a job. And um, even the paying minimum wage uh, in a job site, it doesn't really um, be sufficient enough to maintain a family, right? So this is why there are opportunities like Shao Bank out there where you could invest into cryptocurrencies. Yes, crypto is a bit risky, and um but a lot of platforms companies organizations use this avenue to bring in profits and also to pay out clients so with Shao bank guys you don't have any monthly fees to pay it's a low startup cost to get involved and um just like any other business there are risk involved as well so you always um invest money that at the end of the day you could afford to risk in other words lose because um you don't want to put your emergency money rent money or even um you know your money that you need right away it's going to take a little while even to um earn back daily using the bond contracts from shao bank so we want to basically answer some of the questions uh, these guys have on the call today and um find out if they know about the risk involved in cryptocurrencies so guys welcome to the call and you, you all could go ahead and ask me some questions um, well, firstly, I just wanted to know how um everything was running. A lot of people tell me about it and I never um really take up the idea until somebody had sent me it again yesterday because I was one that was involved in the um the get platform. Okay, not okay. I, not that I scam anybody the money or get scam. I wouldn't put it across that I get scam. I yeah. just use the opportunity and regardless of what I was grateful for it. Um, All right. When this was introduced to me, I just wanted to know like the little details on the, after investing, what yeah. is the package? Um, how long you have to wait to get a return? Right. And well, how long the well everybody just give it a time now. I not coming on the platform to say that well, yeah, boy, oh gosh, this thing is no lifelong thing because yeah. I know it's a risk Yeah. So, yeah. It's all about getting in right, and thing, and making use of it while it's there. So as I draw your attention to my cousin, we just okay. wanted to know like, the little details on investing. Okay. What is, the, what is the period of time before you could get back anything and different stages with this? Yeah. No problem. So I, I'm going to see how fast I could explain the opportunity to you guys, right? Um, the good thing is that you already have um an experience dealing with uh, cryptocurrencies, which is you know, which is good. So basically, Shao Bank acts like a, a banking system, only only online that is. It's a hundred percent online. Shao Bank deals with services called bond contract services, deposit options, and credit options. Mm -hmm. Right? So basically the packages available from Shao Bank currently. I, I get enough feedback. I just gonna mute. I just gonna mute. Um, let's see. Yeah. So let me explain it quickly and then I'll unmute the call, right? So, right. So currently there are eight contracts available. I wouldn't dive into the eight specifics because some of them is very costly to get involved with. All right. But I'm gonna explain the basic ones where you could come in with the FP1. Minimum, if you have USDT, $52 USDT, you could come into the FP1. FP1 pays 0.50% a day, seven days a week for four years. Obviously, if you come in with the basic package, the returns are going to be small, right? On a weekly basis, that's like a dollar and 78 cents USDT back to your account. If you look at the FP2, it's 257 USDT. Right, but this FP2 is 0.60% a day, seven days a week for four years. Your weekly earnings is 84 HKD. So if I open a new tab here, all right, let me just open up a tab here and type in HKD to USDT. 
this will give you an idea how much USDT you're looking at the FP2, right? FP2 pays on a weekly basis 84 HKD. So that's 84, that's $10 and 73 cents USDT back to your account on a weekly basis. So what you could do with that $10, you could withdraw because the minimum withdrawal amount with Shao Bank, it's $7 USDT. But six dollars and uh, nine cents to be exact. But you know, I like to round it off to the seven dollars. So it's anytime you reach seven dollars and above, you could do a withdrawal from Shao Bank. Doesn't matter what day or time it is, you could request a withdrawal. And um, in my case, based on my experience, every twenty four hours, when I issue a withdrawal, and you know, I got it in less than twenty four hours. That's the easiest way I could say it. So they do charge a little commission on the withdrawal, 4.9% if you choose the USDT. However, you have the options of choosing different crypto. You could choose Bitcoin, Ethereum, you could choose BNB, um, Tron, Bitcoin Cash. All these are active options you could choose to withdraw. If you're with Binance and you're doing a withdrawal, they charge zero commission on the Binance USDT Tether. BP20, right? That's the minimum amount would just be 400 each, kitty, which is about uh, $52 um, USDT. Um, yeah, so 400 each, kitty, is the minimum withdrawal amount for the Tether BP20. So that's the, the basic bond package, FP1, FP2. If you want to take it up a notch and you want to come into the FP3, it's 1,026 USDT. You get 0.70% a day, seven days a week for three years. With this particular contract, you get 392 HKD back to your account. That's $50 USDT return back to you. So I'm just going to unmute the microphone now, guys, and you all could uh, let me know if you understand what it is I said there. Hello, I understand. Yeah, I all understand. Right. Not a problem. So, uh, any other question you all may have? Um. Okay. Well, so far I'm interested. Um, okay. The only thing with the bond thing. Um, yeah. When it say like if you were to take the purchase, the um, the well, I would just say level two. You have a different what you using, but say like the the level two package, which is the <laughs> two summit. If yeah. you were to take it, how long would you have to wait to get a return? Would it be an immediate build up? Or would it be you have to wait a month and then then you would be able to withdraw something? Or if it is I just asking the question because if it is you was thinking like to go in the in the one way you're stuck in the, the thousand something. Yeah. You just say, right? Yeah, yeah. Would it, be, would it be you could get your fifty, your fifty USD return weekly? right away or you have to wait a period of time okay so basically uh like i said before the fp2 it's 257 usdt you get 0 0.60 percent a day seven days a week so if you look at my screen here you'll see weekly 84 hkd and that is equivalent to ten dollars usdt return back to your account on a weekly basis so with what, what that means is that every week you could do a withdrawal just by having an FP2 contract active in your account because the minimum withdrawal amount in Shao Bank is seven dollars USDT. All right, so would it be that you have to use a link to join or yeah, yeah, it's a referral link. I could always um you can message me on WhatsApp. If you um want to sign up with our link, or even if the person who invited you, they have a referral link, you could uh, request it from them as well. Okay, no problem. Right, no problem. so so we clear on the the explanation yeah. there, right? Clear, we clear on everything. Okay, um, cool. One thing, one more thing. Um, yeah. is it similar to the where we know we know these things just go and I'm not whatever more to say. Is yeah, it yeah, yeah. You, have to, you could invite people and when you invite people they get like bonus and you yeah, know, all that yeah, yeah. well let, let me just explain that quickly to you as well all right so i'll just explain the marketing side quickly i'll head over to the marketplace here on our account and with Shao Bank, yes, it's a referral based organization meaning that every time you sign up you have a verified account you, you would get a referral link 
available, right? So once you have that link available, you send it to uh, it would be a coworker, friend, person of interest that you would have shared the opportunity with. And once they sign up with your link and they activate a bond contract, instantly you get 7% um, commission from Shao Bank to your account. That will be considered your level one. But it doesn't stop there. With Shao Bank, you earn tokens as well automatically to your account by participating into the marketing. Once you have active clients, that is with active bond contracts, you get tokens quickly to your account. It's 12, 12 tokens. Well, one HKD equals 12 tokens. So you get a lot of tokens quickly on the platform. However, if you want to participate on the different levels into the marketing, whether it be level 2, 3, all the way to level 10, you would have to buy these levels a one-time purchase that is right so you you would have to buy into the different levels into the marketing if you want to participate um on the different marketing levels however the first level it's free and that's seven percent you get instantly to your account as a commission so when you get these tokens as well as incentives into your account you could actually buy a case every 24 hours utilizing the tokens the required amount and you could earn instant money to your account, right? So it varies. The common case is 4 to 40 HKD. You could buy this every 24 hours. I could actually buy this right now, but I wouldn't buy it because um, I like buying it in the morning period. Uh, you could buy the rare case as well if you have the required amount. There's up to the immortal case where you could earn minimum 1500 USDT. But as I always tell people, you don't rush the market. Especially if you're new to um, a platform, you, you get to know the platform, how it works, have your own experience, and then you could participate to share the opportunity, right? And with all that being said, guys, always remember the risks getting involved with cryptocurrencies. Always invest money that you could afford to lose at the end of the day because crypto are unregulated. It's a decentralized area and the possibilities are there that any platform could disappear at any given time so the fastest way you could really benefit or try to benefit from a um, platform is doing your withdrawals quickly as possible all right so let me know yeah, about nice. everything yeah um yeah well um i'm glad that you identify i'm glad that you say plain I'm glad that you, you know, is one that put it out that these things could disappear anytime. Yeah, it could, um, it could. What I wanted to know is how long they have been in Trinidad for. Well, um, not just Trinidad, but globally, they have been um launched since 2022. There's a roadmap on the website. You could check that out. But I personally got involved with Shaw Bank. Uh, this will make it a year now. I got involved in March 2023. All right, nice. Well, okay. All right. All right. And and um, as being the one who doing the meetings and whatever. Yeah. Um, you think if it is, I was to tell somebody else about it, right. would it be something that okay, even so, it can last for. Let me don't. Yeah, I want. I don't want to put it as okay. You join this and it only work for a month. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you used to tell somebody, okay, just give it a six months, would you be able to tell somebody that as something that you know for sure? I give it six months. I ain't giving it no year. I ain't giving it nothing more than that. I just saying it as because you remember to introduce people to something. They want to know that, all right, at least I could get something within a period of time. They yeah, want to know that I can yeah. bank today. And when I tell them about show bank today, show bank disappear tomorrow. That do not <laughs> look good at all. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to get involved with something that wouldn't last, right? Uh, what I could tell you, uh, Miss Mirage, is that it's based on my personal experience with the platform. You know, I'm not forcing anybody to join. I could just share the information that I experience, and that's like a year information we're talking about. So to say to, to predict the future, I I can't predict the future. I'm not even sure how long this platform will last, right? Oh. Because right. I personally, I'm at a risk-free zone. And I, I, I'm not afraid to tell people that I already made back my money and I got to go. So I am declared. But um, how much people so far um, joined the platform? Like we, just, we just put in it as from Trinidad. 
from since it launched with Trinidad, how much people invested in the platform so far? Right. So to answer that question, I can't give you an exact figure, but I have some guys in our team that they got in in 2023 as well. So if you would like any group, they could share their experience. And um, as I mentioned, it doesn't really matter uh, because no one cannot predict the future of the platform. So we could get six, seven, about 25 people to say, hey, I joined 2023, you know, and trying to build that confidence to get somebody to come in and not considering the risk is something that I wouldn't really promote now. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's based on the information that the individual understands, the risk, most importantly, and how much money they could put in the system. I'm not telling anyone to rush and join and sign up with a FB3 or FB4. It all depends on the customer, um, the risk, right? Yeah, what about I want to do? Yeah, because I mean, I'm not going to put no icing on no cake because at the end of the day, we don't really control any finances in the platform. And it's just. You're right. I actually tell you in here that you're right. You're, you're right. But not not actually making people feel there's a better rose. Like, be <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah. even, you know, anybody introduced the opportunity to, it had to be based on your experience. That's the simplest way I could put it with the platform. I have a couple of people because um I had dealt with some during the get period and I was on just like how you let them know straight up. I let people know straight up, and some people are still willing to take the risk again. Yeah, so as I, say, well, I, mean, I can always mention it to them, and whoever decides to take the risk, it's up to them. Yeah, what I could tell you the transparency behind Show Bank is that um they diversified into other areas eh? and and part apart from the bonds they have got involved yeah. into bitcoin mining bitcoin etfs and chip innovation technology meaning that yeah. they have other areas are bringing in money to the organization all right? right and then again they have a powerful ecosystem um with show bank they have other companies tied to them now as a, a financial backend in case they're okay. going to the red folder, they have these other corporations contributing finances. All right. Right. No and on yeah. the website too, they even have a financial report available under insurance banking. You would see, if you scroll down, you would see 2023 financial report. So you could take a look at that as well. All right. No problem. All right. So yeah. thanks yeah. for coming out on the call and um, we will definitely keep in touch, right? Okay, no problem. Thanks Take care. Again. Have a great day. Yes. Okay, bye-bye.